one of the songs on my solo album is called Elsa's Idea. And it, um, my daughter, who is now eight, back then she was almost six and she went to her first piano lesson. And that piano lesson, the first assignment that she had is play three notes that are assigned to you. These notes. And uh, then you can make up four notes of your own. It's a nice exercise for kids. Three notes, you have to play those three notes. That's already a good assignment. And then you can make up four of your own. So it's, it's more. <laughs> it's more of your, your own than the assignment itself. So I thought, OK, I'm curious what she'll come up with. And she played this. Obviously, she couldn't grab it with one hand. And I can't either, so I have to use the pedal. This is already a nice sound. And you could maybe imagine by something like this, you know? What she chose was. child's logic, you know? And I thought that was beautiful. And then I said, Elsa, can I, let's play this a little bit. And usually I, I, I lose sense of gravity within that line. So I'm like, I know where I am. Oh. <laughs> and I like this feeling. So um, I said, can I move this around a little bit? Let me try. And as I showed you before how I did it with Ravel, I did, this, I did it the same way with my daughter's idea. So I found out what it is. It's one, five, four, three, uh, flat three, flat two, or flat nine and uh, sharp 11. All right? And then I moved it around, and then I thought, um, Elsa, can I, I said to her, can I write a melody to that? So I had the first idea for. Then I had a feeling I should maybe go to the four. So it becomes a blues, maybe, you know. Yeah. I didn't do it that way, but so I continued the line from the fourth degree of that of the. Then I just uh, looked at um, what what this brought to me. So I'm going to play you the song now.
So um, that little idea went into a, to become a, a bigger piece. And I didn't really mean to write a song. I just had a little game with my daughter, you know. And then at the end, I found it's a bit weird if I just start the song like that. It's like opening a door and you're already in, you know. So I thought maybe I have to find something that leads into it. I didn't want to start like that. So I found a way to use this um, motif and kind of put a roadmap to how to modulate this. Because if you look at it harmonically, it, you start out in B flat, or in the original key, C flat, a C. And then you move to F sharp, which is the tritone. So. And that brings you a few options on how to modulate to go to a next. So because from F sharp, I could go to F, like I did in the song. So if I would go through the whole cycle of fifths, it would sound like. But I didn't want the intro to sound like an exercise. So I found a top note and found a roadmap on how to slickly modulate and then land in C. So let, let me see, I always have trouble remembering this because I wrote this after I wrote the song. And then I just recorded it without writing down the intro. So um, let me see if I can remember it. So sometimes it becomes of, okay, that's a song, but maybe I have to make it a little bit better by, you know, uh, building an infrastructure around it or, you know, whatever image helps you to find something that helps you get to the most fulfilling and satisfying version of the composition.